Do you guys remember this organizer that my husband got for me to store my seeds and gardening things in? Well, this thing is bursting at the seams. I have so much stuff in there. Um, there's just seeds everywhere. So I'm gonna start up here. These are all my cool weather seeds. And then, oh, look at that. I got mail and there's seeds in here. There's seeds down below. There, those are my herbs. And then we have flowers. And then this drawer right here just has miscellaneous stuff in it. This one is um, my tea uh, garden, my tea garden stuff, seeds. And over here, these are more seeds. <laughs> and over here, these are more seeds. These are all like my tomatoes and peppers and summer stuff. And then here, it's just miscellaneous stuff. But look at this, you guys. There's all these big envelopes in here from seed companies of seeds that I just, that I bought, that I've been buying over the course of the last few months. Along with these envelopes are from seed companies and um, from viewers and people in a gardening group that I belong to. So, you know, I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and make a video showcasing some of the seed companies that I'm using, especially so I can get these envelopes cleared out of here and try and get things a little bit more organized. So, why don't you guys join me as I sit down and let's talk seed companies today. and welcome to Saving Greens Homestead. You guys, my name is Keisha. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I welcome you. This is gonna be one of those videos that I, I can't even guarantee how long it's gonna take. I'm trying to break them up <laughs> so that, you know, I won't overwhelm you with all of my seeds because I have a lot of seeds and stuff. So anyways, you guys, today is day two of my week long January jumpstart uh, one video, a new video every day challenge that I'm challenging myself to because uh, for a while at the start of this year, I had so much stuff going on. I am so happy that you are joining me today to talk about seed companies. Uh, I belong to a lot of different groups on Facebook, gardening groups and stuff on Facebook. And uh, yeah, a lot of people ask me, you know, where do I buy my seeds? Where do I get all my seeds from? Because I like to grow. I like to grow your normal stuff, but then also I like to grow, um, you know, some things that are more unique, maybe unique in color or, or something like that. So, um, a lot of times people are asking me where I get my seeds and I know you guys, if you're anything like me, these are just bad. <laughs> I get my catalogs from some of the fav my favorite places to buy from and um, it's just madness. I sit there and just go through everything. So anyways. I like to try different companies as well. I have those that I order from on a regular, um, but I do like to try new companies, companies that are um, family owned, that are, you know, smaller companies that are starting out. And so I get my seeds from a, a number of different places. And then there are new companies that I try um, every year to see and if they have good quality seeds if their seeds germinate um their germination rate is good if the quality quality of the plants is good if the if i pop the seed in the ground and it comes out like the plant that it's supposed to be 
in the color or whatever that it's supposed to be, <laughs> then that's a good thing. And those are companies that I'll go back to and I'll buy from. And then also if they have pretty reasonable prices. Now, prices to me is not always the end all thing because there are some things that I will pay a little bit more money for because of its uniqueness or its rarity um, or because it just intrigues me and I want to try and grow it. <laughs> so there are times that I've paid like $6 or more for a pack of like five seeds. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have that, um, have ever done that, but you know, it is what it is. I have a problem and I can admit that I love, I love, like these are like crack to me. I love looking through the pages of these catalogs and looking at everything and dreaming and planning. And you know, this one from Baker Creek, actually caught my eye this year because all the sunflowers if you know anything about me you know I love my sunflowers so um but I'm gonna put these aside because as you can see I've got a whole bunch of stuff so we're not talking specific seeds today I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the companies that I'm trying out this year and um give you the information on those and uh then at the end of the year, I'll probably just do a short video. Well, it probably won't be a short video. I, I can never do short videos. But I'll probably do a video at the end of the year and just give you my reviews on the companies. Some of the companies I can tell you right now that I usually buy from that are good. Uh, and I can tell you why I like them. Uh, but some of these other, a couple of these other companies, I've not really had much experience with them. So, uh, I would have to give you my review on them later. I guess if, <laughs> if I make another video next year talking about the seed companies that I buy from and those companies I'm buying from again, that would be a good indicator <laughs> that they were pretty decent. So, um, and some of these, I don't remember the prices and stuff, but um, I'm going to first get all of this organized and just have the seed companies and then I have some mail call to do too as well with this video of seeds that I received in the mail from subscribers, from um, people that are on my, um, in some of the same YouTube groups, gardening groups that I'm in that we swapped and also from people who just wanted to send me seeds. So... <laughs> Let me get this all organized and we'll start with the seed companies first. Okay, you guys, so these are all the seed companies that I'm using this year. <laughs> so I'm going to start with the ones that I usually go to. Um, these are the companies that I usually buy from. Uh, the first company that I'm going to mention is the company that I usually go to first to find anything because... Well, the prices are reasonable and um, the quality of the seeds are pretty good. Um, I think I only had one instance where I bought a seed pack and it was a tomato seed pack and it was supposed to be a certain tomato variety in it. And it, it was kind of, but it was the wrong color <laughs> of that variety. And so, I mean, that's a... Uh, a mistake that can happen especially when things are being hand um, packaged anyways um, this company is called MI Gardener um, if you guys know anything about uh, MI Gardener he has a YouTube channel um, his name is Luke um, I don't know him personally I just know that I watch I subscribed and watched his YouTube channel and then when I found out that he was selling seeds and stuff for a reasonable price and they were a dollar a pack then I was like oh yeah especially because he had a lot of the same varieties that some of these other seed companies have but his prices was great and then I guess with COVID and everything happening his price went up to uh, $2 a seed pack, but that's still pretty good considering some of the other companies, their seed packs are 3 and $4 or more. So anyways, 
you know, I bought a, a whole lot of seeds. I mean, I spent over a hundred dollars worth, um, a hundred dollars getting seeds from, uh, this seed company from MI Gardener. And, uh, I haven't had any problems with generation, uh, generation, with germination or anything like that. So, you know, that's why I go to him first usually and see what, if he has the things on my list that I want. And then if he doesn't, then I move on and go to some other places or if he's sold out, then I'll move on and go to some other places. And like I said, I'm not gonna go over each of the seeds that I bought, but there's a lot. I'm gonna kind of pull it out so you can get an idea. <laughs> there's a lot of seeds here. Um, I will go over more specifics later on as far as um, seed types that I bought. But for right now, and for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna do that. I just like going to his um, seed company and buying the seeds because like I said, it's more affordable. Uh, and he tries to keep it that way and I appreciate that. Um, my money stretches a lot further. And, you know, it's, he's becoming even more reputable um, as a seed company. So, and a lot of people buy from him. And, and so, yeah, and he also has like a, a Facebook group um, that I'm in. And so, I'll put all the links to everybody's information down in the description below so that you can look them up and and you know see for yourself if it's some place that you would want to try and buy some of your seeds from um, but so his is the first one and then you know my other one is Baker Creek you already saw I have the catalog <laughs> And that's not, that's the free catalog. That's not the big catalog that you buy, that you purchase. That's just the free one. And I went through there and it doesn't have everything in it, but it has a decent selection in the free catalog. Um, but I, I usually, when I buy from them, I usually just go online and look at everything that they offer. And so, um, but Baker Creek, is a well-known company um, and they usually offer free shipping uh, whenever you buy from them and so there's a number of things that I bought from them uh, that I'm excited about this year and I get a lot of tomato seeds so I just got some of their newest um, seeds for 2022 um, of tomatoes that I am excited to be growing and I will be giving much detail on a video strictly just for tomatoes because if you know anything about me I love my tomatoes and I, I grow a lot of tomatoes I have um, about 130 different varieties of tomato seeds so I'm not planting all those this year. I think last year I planted like 83 or so. And this year I cut it back a little bit to 63. So <laughs> I'm trying to focus more on quality and not quantity, right? But um, I'm doing it this way this year because there's a seed company I'm gonna be talking about where I bought tons of tomatoes from. Okay, my battery died. Bottom line is, for my tomatoes, I'm gonna have to make a video separate for tomatoes only, so that I can talk to you about the different varieties that I plan on growing this season, but Baker Creek is one of those companies that I buy from on a regular, and so, this is all of them right here. Just tons of seeds that I got from them. And you guys, I am so excited about 
the seeds that I got this year from them. I can't wait to break down and tell you specifics of my garden plan for this year and the seeds that I'm choosing to grow because a lot of them are very interesting seeds. <laughs> so, and then next I have, um, so I started buying some seeds from Haas Tools and um, I think last year was the first time that I bought from them and I bought, uh, let's see, uh, sunflowers and some watermelons um, and I think corn from them. But, um, and the only thing that happened, I mean, it was a good thing and a bad thing, I guess, because um, I had ordered a specific sunflower. I had ordered a, a bicolor lemon uh, sunflower. And they gave me a pro cut lemon sunflower. And I, I never called and said anything. I'm sure they probably would have corrected it if I did. But um, I just went on ahead and bought the one that I wanted again. And I got the right one, but, and then I just kept the seeds of the other one because like I said, I love sunflowers. <laughs> that was my excuse or reason to, you know, keep those extra sunflower seeds. So anyways, I'm sure they probably would have worked something out with me, but, oh, and, I, um, what was it? One more thing with in my gardener. Uh, one time when I bought, just one time, and like I said, I've never. You guys, I don't call back and complain unless it's something super major. You know, I just, I just don't. I don't know. I, I, I'm one of them non-conflict or confrontational or type of people or whatever. Like it is what it is, and you know, and I just, I move on, but. Um, one of the times when I bought seeds, the pack came empty. <laughs> it had no seeds in it. And so I ended up just buying another pack because they were a dollar a pack. I didn't mind just buying another pack and not, you know, stirring up any problems or calling their, um, customer service or anything. And I'm sure, I'm sure they would have sent me another pack of seeds and worked it out. You know, so it, it's not a slam against these companies or anything. It's just, you know, I just didn't do that. I just figured, you know, I'll just uh, reorder some stuff. But anyways, this is what I got from Haas. And they always put their, um, like, a, a, a free magnet and um, some, uh, I think it was a sticker or something. Um, in their orders and so you know I really um, I haven't had any other type of bad experiences with their seeds or anything everything germinated and germinated well and so they're one of those companies that you know it's a little pricier for their seeds but you know um, like I said, if, if M.I. Gardner doesn't have it when I'm looking for it, then I move on to the next company and see, you know, if they have it. And um, so I don't mind spending a little bit more sometimes. Uh, but, you know, I just basically try to spread the wealth a little with all the companies anyways, just to show my support for them all. Um and so I like buying my seeds at Haas Tools. They have some really interesting things. Um, they deal in a lot of hybrids and stuff more than heirlooms, but you know, I'm pretty pleased with them. So I'll continue to buy from them. Okay, you guys, so after I started editing this video, it was just gonna be too long. It was gonna be 50 minutes long. And so I decided to break this up into a two part video. I hope you guys watch the second part after you finish watching the first part. I did this so that you could watch it at your convenience and stuff. So thank you so much for watching this first part of the video. And yeah, as always, God bless.